Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the remaining month of October reads, start from the 22nd through the 31st of October 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Taurus. So Taurus, let's see what's coming in for you for the remaining month time. I will be adding a lot many cards here in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. So let's see what's coming in for you for the remaining month time. We do have our first two cards here. Five of Cups and Two of Wands. Um, I really feel like, you know, there is something that has uh, um, disappointed you a lot. It can be a person in your life, a specific someone that you're dealing with in love life. It can be a person that has disappointed you in your work life as well. But there is some sort of a disappointment going on. But at the same time, you do feel still that you do have the support that you probably need in these times. So maybe, maybe you are, you know, not happy with your work environment. Maybe you're not happy with your love life situation. Maybe you don't feel that, you know, um, whatever you expected out of someone um, they they could not you know um, they could not be how you expected them to be so there is a sense of disappointment there and I feel like you know um, having said that you are stronger than that so you're not gonna let it kind of like you know you are gonna uh, you know kind of observe this feeling um, and you're not gonna run away or shy away from your feelings but at the same time you can have a you, you know, you're going to have a very strong approach towards life. You're going to be able to pull yourself out of that sadness and gloominess that you might be having in the very beginning of the remaining month time around 22nd through the 25th of uh, uh, October. I feel like you know, there is a sense of disappointment there, but you're still keeping your faith strong. You're still intending something good. You're still hoping for something beautiful. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's see more cards here. So let's include these ones. Okay, so we do have Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, Strength, King of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Eight of Cups, the Star, the Hangman, Four of Swords. Now, I really feel like you know whatever that you are going through right now in your life, where you're not you're not happy with something, I really feel like you know there is um, a lot of clarity and understanding coming for you in regards to that. Um, I feel like you know for majority of you. Um, you are not going to be chasing after something that is ending. Um, if somebody has disappointed you, you're going to let them go. Uh, if it's a work life scenario, probably you're going to walk away from that job. If it's a love life scenario, probably you're going to choose to put an end to that. Whatever it is that is um, painful right now for you to deal with, you are going to accept that as a fact and you're going to move forward. Now, what I see here is... For majority of you, if there has been a person in your life or is there a person in your life um, who has been very disappointing to you, um, I really feel like you know, you're know you surrendering that relationship. You're giving up on that relationship. I, I really don't think you are surrendering. I really feel like you're giving up on it. You are so disappointed that you really don't want to invest more of your time into it. I feel like you know, for a majority of you, you would be going away from this situation. Um, knowing that you know you have the love that you need like of your family friends uh, you are stronger than the situation and you can deal it with the mature attitude um, you're gonna choose to walk away from it I feel like you know yes there might be a you know a struggle that you're gonna have but you are okay with that struggle as long as you're not let, uh, letting other people uh, have the control of you or your life. I really feel like you know you will be walking away from someone in this remaining month time now But at the same time what I do see here is um, whatever that you're running away from um, and Putting an end to I really feel like you know in the times to come um, I really feel like you know this this situation is going to come back to you This person is gonna come back to you. These people are gonna come back to you Whoever has disappointed you is going to return back to you. Um, now, I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, um, it's hard for you to step away from it. It's hard for you to move away from this person, this situation. But 
it is the best thing you can do right now and i feel like you know that is um the stepping stone right now for you to have success in that now it's just more like you realizing your worth and you are not settling in for shit and when you walk away from something like that intending something better for yourself that's when you get the better so i really feel like you know um this situation that is ending right now is going to come back to you this person this relationship is going to come back to you but at the same time i really feel like you know it's um uh, it's going to be your call your decision do you want to give them a chance or not i feel like you know if you're leaving behind a specific someone uh knowing that they have been very painful in their attitude towards you they have been like hurting you a lot you are you know deserving of something better and uh, you are ready to let them go i really feel like you know this person is going to coming uh is going to be coming back to you i really feel like you know they would be wanting you again but at the same time to be honest it's going to be your call your decision do you want to give them a chance or not because i really feel like you know by the time they they're going to come back you are not longer going to be there where you were for them so let's see what else is happening for you i feel like you know you do have choice for some of you probably you're feeling like oh i'm blocked i don't know why this person is doing this to me and blah 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 you are feeling restricted restrained right now and uh, i really feel like you know this remaining month is going to be the time when you're going to choose to walk away from something or someone you will be making those tough choices and walk away from them open up yourself to new people new opportunities new jobs uh, because you really believe now that you're worthy of something better and more than what you were getting sticking around the situation so i really see you walking away and uh, you are broken hard for majority of you as as we are doing this read i really see that energy with the five of cups as well but yes you will be able to manifest what you want because you're not going to stick around this energy um absorbing it for for life i feel like you know you are going to be like stronger to deal with it and you're going to own your strength you're going to own your power you're going to own your uniqueness and move forward in life letting it go letting it be you're getting rid of the attachment that you had towards a specific someone and i really feel like you know that's amazing how you're going to kind of overcome your challenges walking away from the wrong person is going to be easier for you now so i really see that coming through let's see some color cards let's see what color could be lucky for you for the remaining month time open ground yourself um aqua aqua and open color is going to be lucky or significant for you it's time for you to ground yourself and experience some peace in life and i feel like you know, it's very important right now for you to experience that peace in your life that's exactly why you're going to be choosing to walking away from something uh 11 and 33 could be significant numbers for you during this uh, remaining month of time as well let's see some more cards here what else is happening here in this remaining month of time for you um let's see transformation Lo let love transform you forever uh self creation be the author of your own life i really feel like you know you're choosing to create the life of your own you are taking the power back in your hands and you're not going to be letting it be uh you know dependent on other people how they steer your life from here to somewhere else you are going to be like taking uh, your power back you are going to be letting your love for yourself transform you right now because i really don't see it to be another person who is going to help you transform right now it's going to be you transforming your life it's going to be you loving yourself and valuing yourself and walking away from something unhealthy uh nothing is yet set in stone and i feel like you know like i said earlier i really see an ending but i really see somebody coming and returning back to you so it's not going to be the end of the whole scenario there is something that is yet to happen yet to come in this connection but at the same time you are stronger and you are going to have the luck on your side for some of you could, you could be dealing with a cancer or a sagittarius but i really feel like you know for majority of you you are going to be definitely breaking free from your attachment with someone that you had once mad crazy kind of attachment towards and you are valuing yourself and loving yourself more than anything else right now so yeah that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, remaining month of time and uh, yeah if it was of help do like share and subscribe and if you are willing to purchase any of the services that i offer check the description box for that till i do the next read take care bye